Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Very special day today. What a day it's going to be, as you can see here in front of me. Um, I just started getting into bourbons and, and different kind of whiskeys and stuff like that. I've grown up being a, a huge Jack Daniels collector, big fan. And I'm a little bit tender in regards to, you know, in comparison maybe to some of you guys that can sit there and drink this stuff neat. Um, and I don't have that BS ability, I guess, to say, oh, this tastes like cherries and this tastes like pumpkin. And, and to be quite honest, I think you're all making it up. I think it just tastes like uh, bourbon <laughs> or whiskey. And that's what you're going for. Um, but I did come across a product from my friends at Battleground Farms. They've come up with a product line called Bourbon Bullets. These are pieces of wood that are put on a lathe and shaped to look like a bullet. And what you do is you put these into your bottle of whiskey or bourbon, and it's gonna mellow it out. It's gonna take the burn flavor out. And they promise that this is going to take a cheap bottle of bourbon or whiskey and make it taste more like a top shelf uh, bottle. So I thought that was pretty interesting and it was really cool that they, they sent me out a three pack of these. Now, if you look at them, these are actually, as I said, they're, they're pretty good size. They're about five inches in all, and they're actually made out of three different type of woods. You've got cherry, you've got maple, and you've got oak, and the oak happens to be charred. So super, super cool. What I did to test this out was I actually had some of these bottles laying around, obviously Jack Daniels bottles. These came out of some gift box, and they're about 375 milliliter bottles. So as you can tell, that'll give you a comparison factor of how big the bullet is in, in comparison to the bottle. Now, in terms of the, the bourbon that I'm using to test this on. So I reached out to those guys at Battleground Farms and I said, look, I don't want to start with anything too good. I don't want to start with something that, that, that these aren't really going to improve the flavor all that much, but I won't, don't want to start with something so cruddy either that it's got so much to overcome. So they, they gave me two suggestions. They said, hey, how about you try either Wild Turkey or Four Roses? So I've never tried Four Roses before. I said, hey, why not? So I was able to buy a, it was a big old bottle. I think it's 1.75 milliliters for 26 bucks. So it was dirt cheap. It was cheaper than the Wild Turkey. And I said, let's go for it. Now, I will tell you that I've sampled that bottle and really not bad for the price, for the cost. I thought it was great. Um, so I went with that. I'm happy with that choice. I'll probably continue getting that at some time in the future. But what I did was I added that to each one of these bottles and I added the different bullet into that bottle. And as of right now, it's aged seven days. They recommend three to four days. Uh, test it all throughout. I just didn't have a chance throughout the middle of the week. This week has been crazy to be able to sit down and film what I needed to. So I thought, okay, let's let it age even more. Because what I didn't know is that whiskey and bourbon, when it's bottled in the glass, won't age any longer. Of course, it's aging because it's sitting on the shelf, but it won't mellow out. It doesn't get those, those different flavors that it would if it was still in the barrel. So that's what these bullets are providing for you. So I just took these bullets out and allowed them to dry off so that I could show them to you guys. Uh, I did mark the bottom of the bottle as of which bullet was in each bottle. My handy dandy assistant, my lovely wife, has secretly poured a pour into each one of these glasses and I don't know what they are. One of them is going to have the Four Roses bourbon. The other is going to have charred uh, bourbon bullet. The other one will have a maple bourbon bullet. And the last will have a cherry bourbon bullet. So they've been mixed up. I have no idea what's, which is in each one. I do have a, a sphere ball of ice in each one. Again, I'm going back to the fact that I'm a little bit tender. I maybe can't drink it neat like, uh, like the rest of you guys. But I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna test each one. And then 
my wife's gonna come back and she's gonna tell me which one I like. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can pick out the original bottle and, and which one I like the best. I'm not gonna be able to tell you the different woods, I can tell you that right now. So, this is gonna be a great, great review, probably one of my favorites, obviously, because there's drinking involved. So, here we go. Let's, let's, uh, we're gonna go with this one on the far right. Let's smell that. So I'll, I'll say that's, that's very smooth. I like it. Um, I could drink that just as it is. Very, very little burn, but, but not much at all. This is no real way to, to, to cleanse my palate here like you would if you were a, a wine, a wine fit. Okay, so that's the second one. It's definitely different. Something's different about it. Obviously, I've got that just incredible palate. Um, I think it maybe has a little bit more burn than the first. It's gonna, it's gonna take multiple, multiple tests. Okay, so I like this one a lot. No idea what it is, but I do like that. I've already forgotten which one had less of a burn. I think this, I don't know. And that one was very mellow and mild. So I think the only right thing to do is to go back through them all again. Because I already, hmm, maybe, maybe I need a piece of paper or something right now what I really like, I don't know. That one definitely, I think, has less of a kick than, than anything else. I feel like that one definitely has some kind of bullet in it. Um, don't know what. And this one's definitely harsher than that one. And as the ice melts, it's gonna throw off my, my game too, as if I have some kind of game. more mellow than this one. So far, I think that this one might be the original. I think these two are the most mellow. And then it comes down to these ones are a little bit more bite to them. So now, let's figure out the answer. So, sticky notes. All right, here we go, here we go. There's a sticky note. What is this the first sticky note? This is the first sticky note. This will be for the glass all the way to the right. Oh. Oak. O is for oak, kids. O is for oak. It's like Sesame Street. So this one was more, uh, did have a bullet in it. So I was correct there. This one then is the maple. And I said, which one did I say? One of these had more kick than the other. I think I was down to these two had the kick. And this one was now, so I hope I'm right. Cherry and the regular. So I was right, this one did have some kick to it. So I think that I had said that these two were the most mellow. We're gonna have to rewind it and see. Did I say that? I did say that. These two were the most mellow. That's the oak, the charred oak, and the cherry were the most mellow. Then, then the maple and the regular. Now let me, knowing that, let me test these together. And I'll be able to, okay. So the maple, okay, all right. Now don't get me wrong, any of these I would be able to just sit there and, and go after. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
So now knowing that, this one definitely, you know, as my taste buds mature, I think I, I could call this uh, paint thinner. Not really. It's not really as bad as paint thinner. It's, it's, it's quite good. But these are way more mellow. These two especially. Now let's see which one I like the best, whether it be the cherry or the oak. All right, I think two things. One, I think I need to do videos like this more often because as you could tell, these are pretty good sized glasses and this is gonna make for a good time. Um, secondly, I think I'm, I gotta go with the cherry. I think, um, I think that's really a great one. Now, when you look for these online, you're gonna go to, to uh, um, here I got the card right over here, battlegroundfarm.com. Uh, when you look for these online, you'll be able to buy the bullets either individually, uh, depending on the what, what wood style that you like, or you could buy the three pack, which is what I have here, which is what they sent me. Uh, very thankful that they did that. Now, while you're there, make sure you check out their, they also have beef jerky. Um, and if you're gonna sit there and tell me that beef jerky and bourbon don't go together, you're a damn liar. Um, they have beef jerky and shirts. These guys are former Marines, Marine Corps vets, so uh, you would be supporting Mar the Marine Corps veterans and you'd also be supporting the small businesses here in the US. So make sure you check these guys out. Now, think about it. I mellowed this out for seven days and this tastes completely different um, than the original bottle. And for somebody like me that doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about, that is probably... Uh, a major uh, difference maker here. I will be using these quite a bit. Um, by the way, these can be used in three to four different bottles. Now, I just use it in a tiny little bottle, and obviously you're gonna be having a, a much larger bottle than that. Um, that may have played a difference in the flavor factor, I'm not sure, but the important thing is that this isn't good for just a one-time shot it is for multiple uses. So uh, there it is guys, really cool. What a great idea. What a great place to shop, battlegroundfarms.com. Follow them on Instagram as well, I do. Uh, what, a, what a great idea and shaped like a bullet. I mean, super cool. Follow them, this stuff tastes great. Check out the Four Roses too, try it in that because it's gonna be an inexpensive way to get into this. These are very affordable as well and run your own test. Um, don't take my word for it because it's not worth that much, but uh, but great stuff Really love this cheer. I'd say next is the oak Maple's got a tad bit more kick to it and then the regular four roses you can't go wrong. So uh, Compare this against your favorite bourbon and and see how it stacks up, but but fantastic stuff check them out battlegroundfarms.com This is what the box looks like for the three pack Go for it, enjoy. I'm gonna finish these up. It's gonna be one heck of a night. So uh, thanks, appreciate you watching. And uh, check out my friends, battlegroundfarms.com. Check me out at gearsgunsandgrub.com. On Instagram is gearsgunsgrub. And on Facebook at gearsgunsandgrub uh, as well. So uh, thanks for checking us out again. Uh, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time.